Hey, <clears throat> hey, let's start again. Hey, welcome to the Man Cave here at Whistle Vistas in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. Beautiful day, uh, September, middle of September, more or less. And uh, work on the 2021 Tuono to make it ours. And I'm using that collectively because I want everybody to feel like they're a part of the journey here. Continues. Uh, the first thing, as many of you saw my second ride when I took it out and put some uh, fuel into it, you will note that uh, filling it with the standard California vapor recovery gas filling nozzle is a pain. And I managed to spill some fuel on the side of it. Uh, which I, I just don't see how you can avoid doing that. But anyway, I had very good success on Tony Thunder using the uh, Quick Connect cap by a uh, company called TWM. And uh, they're, they're really good and relatively easy to install. So I thought we'd do a little bit of an unboxing and we joined together and, and put it on the machine. Okay, so here it goes. Uh, something to note, this product has very sp specific installation process. YouTube video is available. Please mail us for video link, info at motomillion.com. I did buy this from Moto Million because uh, there are a couple of Patreon creators, 650Ebe and Jared Campisi, for obvious reasons that I follow, and using their names give, gives me a discount and uh, at the same time gives them a little acknowledgement and allows them to continue in their endeavors. Uh, however, I personally, poor little me, do not receive any compensation for use of their products, none whatsoever, except that little discount. So, unboxing, aluminum fuel cap, they repeat the uh, warning from the front. It is nicely put together, came out without a scratch on it. A little extra there. We have the, um, bits and pieces in a separate little plastic bag. Uh, there are the bits. Uh, you tell me which is a bit and which is a piece. There they are. And we have the uh, fuel cap installation guide uh, set out. And as noted, there is a uh, YouTube video. Here is the top. It's Okay, according to the redoubtable Manny at uh, Moto Million, we just need uh, three tools, and in fact, I know that's true. The uh, number two or a relatively small uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver, a uh, 2.5 millimeter hex, and a four millimeter hex. Now the danger, uh, we're gonna use the ring that's underneath here. The danger here is that the gas tank is open and one of those uh, screws drops down in there, it's, it's just gonna be uh, sort of an unpleasant experience. Uh, the other thing is that there's a breather tube here that you have to align correctly so the machine uh, can draw some air so it has some access to atmosphere uh, as it's uh, pumping the fuel down, pumps it up and down under a vacuum. Okay, uh, stand by. I'm going to try and give you a better shot at what it is that I'm trying to do here. All right, our first task is to remove these uh, four hex screws. Once again, here's the uh, vent line that I was talking about. Once again, we've got an open gas tank there, so um, uh, I am going to just make myself problems. I'm going to stick a uh, piece of uh, paper towel in there and hopefully that makes it impossible to uh, lose one. So they're not in very tight. They don't need to be tight. They're compressing a gasket and we're going to work in a uh, star-shaped pattern as we go around here and get them loose and then begin to remove them. And um, I think what I'll do is I'll put the film on fast forward as we go through this part. This is the last one to get loose. So we'll go ahead and just wind that little guy all the way out. Quick note, this is the toughest one to get at. There's a little hump beside it 
as you take it out uh, with the stock gas filler. Because I am. Oh, there's number four. Ta da! Number four is out. And with that, the entire assembly lifts off. And you have to flip it over and look at the orientation. And uh, this bit right here points to the right, to the writer's right, as it goes back into place. So we have to remember that orientation. Here is the bleed hole that I was talking about. Okay, uh, step one done. I'm going to take this cloth out and uh, put it back in the gas cap to keep stuff from coming out. Okay, now we move over to the workbench. Okay, back at the workbench, this is the part that ends up going back over towards writer's right. Let's remember that again. This is why we have the Phillips screwdriver. We remove these four Phillips screws. Sorry, there are five of them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I hope that shows up. And then the one, two, uh, three, four, five placements. We are uh, working hard. Now this comes apart. Here's a gasket that uh, goes around. Let's keep that as close to the original configuration as we can. That vent is very important in there. Um, this is the original cap. And uh, here's the culprit, at least for me, as far as uh, creating the problems with the California Vapor Recovery System. Try and say that four times fast. Okay, so now we move to the bits and pieces. I'm gonna call this a bit and this a piece. <laughs> uh, as supplied uh, by TWM to put this all back together again. And these are little, uh, oh, I don't know what you would call them, uh, round base spacers, if we use their own uh, nomenclature. And uh, how do they go? They go, uh, oops. oopsie. Okay, I'm back with you. Uh, I didn't look very... <laughs> Well, but there are actually two number four instructions here. One of uh, the brand's gas caps requires this uh, spacer, and the other one requires the hex. Both of these are labeled number four. Uh, I should have looked a little closer or remembered, uh, and I did neither of those. Anyhow, uh, the deal is that they need to go in to hold that screw in place because it will otherwise be inaccessible uh, once you reinstall this down on the uh, gas cap, and I'll show you that in a moment. But uh, right now you put those hexes into the back and um, using the uh, two and a half millimeter screw, you, you run these down and um, you run them down about to the point where they're flush with the hex because uh, otherwise they, the uh, screw will, the screw or the hex will not stay in place. It'll drop and then, God forbid, drop into the gas tank. But it uh, fits into the hex provided. But if you don't have the screw holding it into place, it will just come right out. So we put those in and we put the um, screws in just as holders. And there are five, and uh, they only need to be about the point where they're flush with the bottom of the hex. That's about it. So we'll go around and do that. Bear with me, we'll speed through this. Now, uh, 
thusly held secure, we are going to put this back in place on, on the machine. This goes now back in place on the machine and we're going to use the four original uh, bolts to install it. They'll go in like that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's remove back over to the motorcycle. Okay, we're back over to the motorcycle. I'd like to be able to leave this in place, but I'm not sure I can. No, I can't. So this has to come out temporarily, nice and uh, gasoline covered, or what passes for gasoline nowadays. And uh, these four screws we will use to uh, replace it. And remember, this goes over here. We look for those screws. Where are you, fellas? There they are. Now, all that should be, these things are now backed out, and we should be able to take those out once we get the screws in. So we'll go offline here, and we're going to replace those four things right there. Okay, you'll note I put my tissue back in, and uh, I've got one of the screws started, so I'm going to take that uh, little guy down, and these will sort of uh, pop into their location there. And I'm not going to tighten it down all the way, obviously. Stand by. We go in our famous uh, crisscross pattern, setting the second one here. Uh, by the way, don't do this. Don't hold uh, two in your hand. <laughs> Put those aside, because you could lose those things. That's really dumb of me. I can't tell you uh, how scaredy cat I am that I'm going to drop one of these darn things. And we're not done yet. There's, we still have, uh, we've got every opportunity for disaster coming up here. Okay. By the way, I do not use Loctite on these. I normally am a, a big believer in uh, Loctite. Oh. Uh, normally I'm a big believer in Loctite, but uh, around fuel systems, uh, first of all, I don't know if the Loctite would, uh, would live with the E10 for any length of time. And, and secondarily, I'm, I'm just not sure what the long-term effects are, or if any Loctite were to spall off and drop into the tank. I'm not too sure about that. So I don't use Loctite uh, on this assembly. Uh, any comments appreciated in that regard, by the way. Remember, we have those nuts back there to hold those uh, these in place. And we're going to have to pick those up when we tighten this thing back down. So now we can now we can run this down. Don't over tighten, there is a gasket there. And it'll bottom out. You'll feel it when it hits the bottom of the thread well. Okay, base is installed. Now we move on to putting the cap, the lid on the top. During this process we take these five guys out and uh, put the cap on. That's why those little hex nuts are back to hold the uh, threads in place so that you can pick them up. It's, uh, this part's a little nerve wracking because you get it wrong, you're gonna have to take it out to uh, fish those things back out again. But uh, stand by, we'll do the cap next. Okay, we've got uh, most of the screws here putting in the last one. Not sure if you caught that last part, but I did, uh, did manage to drop one uh, onto the floor thankfully. I think my tissue would have kept it out, but uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It can happen. So we t now tighten these down. We're going to go around the scar star pattern, uh, hopefully not a scar pattern, and uh, tighten them down. And you don't have to be heroic tightening them down. Remember, there's a couple of gaskets down there that are uh, uh, going to do the sealing job. So the threads aren't doing any of the work. It's the uh, gaskets. So we're going to use uh, the Gary Cooper torque method on uh, two and a half millimeter screws. 
it is installed. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to get the cap. We're going to put it on. Okay, here we go. My uh, screw stopper goes into place there. We uh, now look to set this in place. Turn it until we hear a click. We have, ladies and gentlemen, the TWM gas cap installed. Now, as I say, I think the uh, original equipment Aprilia looks nice because there are no exposed screws. But again, with that California vapor uh, recovery system, this one seems to be pretty tight. With that, it'll loosen up in time. With that uh, California vapor recovery system, uh, it's just really a pain. I have, I have yet to, there it is, it's locks in place, kind of like it in that orientation. I have yet to put fuel in the tank with that system and not have a leak result. Okay, it's time to start it up and uh, make sure we haven't done any lasting damage, but uh, it's in place. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, cap is installed. Looks pretty good, it looks proper there. I like that better because of the gloss finish compared with the rest of the tank. There is a uh, carbon fiber version of that, but I think it matches the tank a little better. I wish these screws were in black. Uh, perhaps there is some way to get those, but uh, now, I haven't started this uh, since I went back to Tennessee. Let's see what happens when we try and kick this little guy over. Well, and thank goodness the, uh, <laughs> thank goodness that the you know, battery still had some juice. It is working. I'm in an enclosed space. There's no uh, error code being shown, so we haven't done anything fundamentally wrong. And uh, it'll be a lot less difficult to fuel it up in, in the future. Um, hi. Here's me in my noisy garage. Here's you looking at me in my noisy garage. So the installation of the TWM uh, quick release gas cap is in place it'll uh, it'll wear in after a bit and get nice and nice and comfy cozy in there I need to wipe off a few hand prints but we got her we got her in place let's see if we can get a bar up Okay, uh, I think we're all good here. Uh, the uh, cap went on. It's it's a little nerve. It's not a hard job at all. It's just a little nerve wracking around that open uh, gas tank area, with the potential to drop uh, screws and things down in there. Uh, shouldn't be, but it is. And then uh, they say there's a very specific installation instructions set for it and I get that because if you were to try to put it in without those backing nuts you'd have it down in there and you'd wonder why in the world you could never get those screws in place but the uh, directions on the Motor Million site are great and I hope my own installation set here on the 2021 helps uh, those fellow bikers out there as well so anyhow There'll be a few more things. I've got a couple of more uh, quick things I'm doing that I'll do before the uh, break-in period ends, but uh, indeed not many. So uh, just a couple, and of course, I will share them with you. And that is all for this beautiful afternoon in suburban San Diego, California. We'll be talking to you later. Take care out there. <laughs>